in this video i am going to explain the concept of bresenham's line algorithm so the topics that i am going to cover in this video is what exactly the line drawing algorithm is and what are the different types of line drawing algorithm so just give the introduction uh, regarding this uh, dda line algorithm and bresenham's line algorithm and what exactly the midpoint line algorithm means so these are the three different types of line uh, drawing algorithms mostly used and what exactly the bresenham line drawing algorithm with an example okay now let's start the topic so before going to understand what exactly the line drawing algorithm is uh, first what is a line so you all know that this is a line right so what is the definition of this line a line is a part of a straight line so this is a straight line right so in this this is a part of a straight line which extends in the uh, opposite direction indefinitely so this will be extended in this direction and this point will be extended in the direction so indefinitely this line is going to be extended okay so this is a line so the line is present in between the two end points the line is present in between two end points so what is a line drawing then a line drawing is on a screen is divided into two parts one is the rows and the columns so always the line whatever you are drawing to draw here it is divided into rows and the columns so everything depends upon that you call it as a pixel a pixel you call it as a line drawing so or it is also called as a uh, graphical algorithm used to represent the line segment of a graphical media so then what are the properties of good line uh, good line drawing so when you say it is a good line drawing so whenever uh, the properties of good line drawing are easy to understand correctness algorithm should be precise effectiveness uniqueness and it accepts input and generate the output so these are all the properties of good line drawing okay so let's take a simple example a straight line is represented as y is equal to mx plus c okay so y is equal to mx plus c so here uh, let me explain you if you see this diagram this is a line drawing algorithm uh, a straight line which is represented on a graph a 2d graph so here the x and y are the axis of the lines on the 2d plane and where is m is the slope of the line which is which is indicates this line this is an inclined a uh, line uh, you call it as a slope of a line and whatever the point that is intercept this is a interception point okay so uh, this is about the straight line representation i am talking about whenever you are trying to represent a straight line on a 2d plane so this straight line is going to be represented as y is equal to mx plus a now let's see the different types of the algorithms that are used to generate the line i'm talking about that are used to generate the lines if you want to generate a line on a screen so we can use any different uh, any type of the algorithm the first is digital differential analyzer that is a dda line uh, drawing algorithm it is also used as an incremental method of scanning conversions so this dda is used for the incremental method of scan conversion in this algorithm we can perform the calculation in a step by step manner by using previous results in the next step so dd algorithm is completely based on it is depends upon the previous points so based on the previous points it is going to generate the next points that is a concept of dd algorithm so it performs the re, uh, rasterization on polygon lines and triangles then what about the bresenham's line drawing algorithm this algorithm is try to generate the points between the starting and ending coordinates the only point here it is the bresenham line drawing algorithm is try to generate the points in between so in between whatever the points are there these points are generated based on the starting and ending coordinates dda is it depends upon the previous input and whereas bresenham's means it is always generate the uh, points based on the starting and ending coordinates and also performs a scan conversion of a line and it is a powerful useful and mostly used for generate getting accurate results if you want to get the accurate results it's better to use the bresenham's line drawing algorithm okay then what about the midpoint line drawing algorithm what it says it is a accuracy in finding points and the resulting in line in very smooth and simple 
than when compared to other algorithms. Okay. Since each operation on midpoint algorithm uses a basic arithmetic methods, the whole operation takes very few time to complete. So I hope you understand what exactly these line drawing algorithms are, when to use and uh, based on the user's requirement, you can use a different types of line drawing algorithms. Now coming to our main topic, that is the Bresenham's line drawing algorithm. First, I will explain the algorithm. Later, I will take an example and implement this algorithm on that example. Okay, so here our main motto of these algorithms are we have to draw a line on the screen. A graphical line on the screen okay so this algorithm this Bresenham's uh, line drawing algorithm let us see how to generate the points using the line algorithm so we have to generate a points on the screen so how these points are going to generate on the screen a screen it's a 2d screen right whatever you are seeing the screen this is a 2d screen so in this 2d screen if you want to generate a line we have to generate a points first so, how these points are going to generate by using the Bresenham's line drawing algorithm. Step 1. Take the starting coordinates and ending coordinates. Let's take the starting coordinates or x0, y0. And what about the ending coordinates? Ending coordinates are something like xn, yn. So, this is an x-axis and this is a y-axis. Okay? Okay, fine. What is the second step? Calculate the delta x and delta y. That is, delta x is the difference between the starting and ending coordinates. So, what is the main difference between these two? That is the ending minus starting coordinates. And delta y, calculate the delta y. That is the difference between the ending coordinate minus starting coordinate. Why not? Okay. Okay, step 2 is over. We had calculate the difference between the starting and ending coordinates. Now, calculate the decision parameter. So, here the, in Bresenham's line draw algorithm, PK is playing a very important role, a decision parameter. So, the decision parameter is 2 delta y minus delta x. So, this is a formula for decision parameter, 2 delta y minus delta x. Okay, consider the current point. Let's take the my point is somewhere else here in the middle here. Let's take my point is somewhere else here. So, this is an xn, yn, somewhere else in between this. So, the current point is xn, yn and the next point should be xk plus 1. Uh, so, this is xk, not xn, sorry, xk. And the next point will be, so next, let's take the next point will be like here. This is xk plus 1, comma, yk plus 1. This is the next point. Okay, then find the next point which is depending on the value of decision parameter. So, I have taken the current position and the next point I have taken. If I want to find the next point which is depend on the value of the decision parameter. Based on the decision parameter, the next point is going to be calculated. How? The case four, uh, in the case 4, so if k is less than 0, let us take whatever the k value is there. If it is less than 0, then these points has to be noted pk plus 1 is equal to k, pk plus 2 delta y and the next point xk plus 1 is equal to the xk plus 1 and yk plus 1 that is this point is equal to yk only yk suppose if the decision parameter whatever the pk we have taken if this decision decision parameter is greater than or equal to 0 if this pk is greater than or equal to 0 that is it is greater than 0 then what we have to do you have to pk plus 1 is pk plus 2 delta y minus 2 delta x and xk plus 1 that, that is this point is equal to xk plus 1 and yk plus 1. So repeat this step 4 repeat this step 4 until end point is reached or iteration equal to delta x minus 1 times anything whenever you reach the end points leave it. Or else if the iteration equal to delta two del, uh, sorry delta x minus 1 times, then leave it. Okay. So, now let's take an example and implement this algorithm on example. And let's see how the line is going to be uh, appeared on the screen. If you consider these points by using uh, the Bresen, uh, if you generate the points by using the Bresenham's line drawing algorithm. Okay. So, using the Bresenham's line or, uh, algorithm, calculate the points between the coordinates 10, 5 and 20, uh, 20, 15. These are the points I have taken. So, here this is x0, y0 and these points are xn, yn. Okay. 
so the given starting coordinates or you call these are the starting coordinates it's a starting coordinates and these are the ending coordinates okay ending coordinates so calculate the delta x and delta y so what is the difference between the different delta x is equal to starting ending coordinate minus starting coordinate and what about the delta y ending coordinates minus starting coordinate so you got if you substitute the values of starting and ending points delta x you will go, you get at as a 10 and delta y is also a 10 then calculate the decision parameter so pk is equal to 2 delta y minus delta x according to the algorithm so 2 into 10 minus 10 so you will get that pk is also 10 so delta x is equal to 10 and delta y is a 10 and we got the pk the pair decision parameter is also 10 now check the decision parameter pk is greater than or equal to 0 so we got pk is equal to 10 so whenever we get decision parameter is 10 which is greater than or equal to 0 then we have to the case 2 is satisfied that is pk plus 2 delta y minus 2 delta x xk plus 1 and yk plus 1 so then the first points whatever it is there you substitute this and you will get the the next parameters that is x naught and y naught after x naught and y naught that is the x uh, xk plus 1 and the yk plus 1 okay xk we have taken and yk we are taken and xk plus y and yk plus 1 so 11 and 6 are the point so we have to repeat this uh, step 4 is uh, executed until you reach the end point so see here this is a table that I generated here. So this is 0 and pk is a 10 and xk plus 1 is 11 and yk plus 1 is 6. Now again check is pk is greater than 0? Yes, pk is greater than 0. Whenever it is greater than 0, we have to execute the uh, this step. This step, okay. So we have to increment xk plus 1 and the yk plus 1. So this is xk plus 1 has to be incremented. So it is 12 and yk plus 1 is incremented. That is 7. So again pk value is greater than 0 only. Okay because we are we are just doing two pk plus 2 delta y minus 2 delta x. So always the pk is you are getting a 10 only. 2 delta y is 2 into 10 and 2 delta x is 2 into 10 only. So you will get only the 10. The value 10. So this is 10. Always it is 10 only. In this example. I am talking in this example the pk is greater than 10, uh, pk is equal to 10 only. Whenever you are trying to uh, perform the next operation, it is always pk plus 2 delta y minus 2 delta x because delta x and delta y you got 10, both are the same values and pk is also the same value. So if um, delta x, delta y are cancelled, you will get only the 10 only in this example. So whenever it is greater than 0, we have to just increment xk plus 1 and yk plus 1 xk plus 1 and yk plus 1 so 11, 17 has incremented to 18 12 is incremented to 13 19 incremented to 20 and 14 is incremented to 15 so these are the end points if you see here in the question what is the xn and yn value 20 comma 15 let's check in this see here 20 comma 15 so whenever you reach the end point now plot these points on the graph okay so the first point is 11 comma 6 so this is 11 11 and 6 okay and the second is 12 7 12, uh, 13 18 okay and then 14 9 15 10 so like that the points are like this so this is a straight line okay you can see on the screen so in this way the points are going to be generated in between the starting and ending points by using the Bresen hands line drawing algorithm. So I hope you get it what exactly this means is. Okay. Thank you.